Okay, so, happy Monday. So this game, the sound. This is the only time I've ever run into this in a video game. You max out the volume, you can barely hear the music. The sound effects are, are fine, but the music itself is, oh, it's so low. And it's, it's good music too. I mean, it's very appropriate for the game and stuff, but it's so low. Sparkly vampire, only if you get caught out in the sun. Only if you get caught out in the sun. Anywhere. Play. Nope, that's not what I want. Let's continue. There we go. Okay, so this is the one I was just playing. I've been playing it off and on here and there. And again, if you do want to play or join me on the server, you're more than free. Uh, password is Mickey, all lowercase. Just make sure you're friends with me on Steam because that's the only people allowed currently. It's too bitter to lose it to play in Blood Bowl for more than two months. Sneaky vampire? Nah, not really. Vampire's not very really sneaky for the most part. At least not yet. What? Not PvP? Why would you want to do PvP, Kanker? Do you really want to experience a, a PvP survival game with me? Really? Do you really want to do that? Because accidents happen, you know. Just dress like a human and blend in. And that doesn't seem to work yet. We seem to be immediately identified as a bad guy every time somebody sees us. The only time we're not identified as an enemy is when we go run around in wolf form and the other animals don't attack us. But everybody else does. You know, clans in this game, we make it a bit more fun beating up each other now and then. Oh, well, that would require an actual server to do that, Catker. <laughs> Just so you know, that would actually require an actual server to handle that kind of stuff. Because I'm only running this on my, my personal computer, I don't want to, uh, you know, ruin everybody's experience by having a crappy thing going on. So, except if, uh, yeah, the PvP stuff, that, that would, again, you have to restrict that to an actual server server not a standalone thing like this ow 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 <laughs> so come back in the sunlight oh that was awesome Anyway, um, where am I? I am... Apparently, I uh, exited the game when the sun was just coming up and I thought I wasn't... Oh, anyway, doesn't matter. We're fine. Not like I really had anything on me. Anyway, so this is uh, V Uprising, or v, v Rising. This is my new base. Last Monday, I we start off over on the right hand side, lower right hand corner, and I went more west. And I set up a base over here with this little blue sponsor. I think we set up a little base there. However, I decided uh, near the end of the stream, uh, uh, end of the stream last week, I wanted to move. So we moved up here. Um, why this spot? Mainly because we found some... Uh, it's a nice little spot where we have some good resources that are higher level stuff. What happens in multiplayer? Does the enemy get get scaled to be harder? I have no idea, Jeff. I haven't played multiplayer yet. And we've got this. This is a resource node over here, which um, you need explosive to mine. And then up on the hill, there's another different resource that you need explosive to mine. There's also a lot of trees up there. So basically, I like this spot because the resources do respawn over time. And um, this one's a pretty good uh, location for stone and trees and this kind of stuff. So that's why we picked this spot. And what else? 
Um, well, some, cause again, this is our base. We're just, uh, I have to kill a boss to, I'm gonna kill bosses. These different powers, it remembers where everything is. Our character. You can't actually have, hey, come back, welcome back. You can't have more than one base. Actually, I did have two to get to in order to move the other base over here. I just set up a, this is the heart of the base, the castle heart, and this gives you so much, uh, allows you to start, uh, you know, building new stuff. You just have to expand out a little bit, build a coffin over here, and just uh, built some, started building the chests and just ran back and forth, uh, moving resources back and forth between the two bases until I got everything over here and then just demolish the entire base to where it was. So, yes, you can have multiple bases. Oh, I need more blood. Anyway, if you look in the lower left-hand corner here, you can currently have up to two castle hearts, which that allows you to get the, the castle hearts out of your bases. So, uh-oh. Calfac. Thank you for the Prime sub for 38 months. Very much appreciated for the continued support. Very generous, of course. There's your Mickeys and Rockets of Recognition. Keeping in mind that each Mickey is equal to 10 Rockets of Recognition. And uh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So happy Monday. Happy Monday to everybody, actually. Will the enemy attack your base? Um, well... There's more than one type of enemy out there, and I don't know the answer to that question. <laughs> I've never had my base attack, but seeing that we have gates and stuff, I would think that maybe, but I haven't actually seen any. I haven't had any uh, attacks happen yet. And right now it's daylight. You can see in the upper right hand corner there, uh, there's a little time going by. All the orange means it's daylight. And as you saw at the beginning, um, if you are caught out on the in the daylight, you will burn. <laughs> you will die. Hey, Cash Jack, welcome back. Bases are attacked by players? Yeah, but there's no players. No problem, right? Can you build a roof? Not yet. Not yet. I'm still fairly early in the game. Like I said, I have to kill a boss. So we have no clams. I guess I should create a clam, huh? According to your efforts to hunt for bee blood, battle of the clans and rebuild your castles. Great. Well, that works out, doesn't it? There, we're done. If it's out automatic once you have floors plus an enclosed room, which I don't really have. Turn that off. Oh yeah, we don't have floors yet because I can't make bricks. So, again, still prog trying to progress here. Okay, so these are our quests that we need to do. We need to kill these three bosses in order to get some more uh, structures that we can build. Uh, this is the important one probably maybe to the tannery so we can make more leather which we need to upgrade the heart. Which is this. So the castle heart requires uh, 12 uh, copper ingots which is not a problem. And then the leather we need 12 of that too. I think I have like 7 or 8 leather now but Hello, the everyone. tannery definitely makes things easier. My name is Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also follow Gimpy over on Twitter at Gimpy Knee. He tweets out there when he goes live and will more than likely follow you back. Thank you for watching. Yep, thanks for watching. Happy Monday. Is perimeter walls fencing or is that building wall? They are actually walls. They are actually walls. Uh, fundamentals. Well, they're palisades, but uh, it's a wall, 
and you can have an entrance which is where the gates are. There's a gate. You can build pillars. There's stairs, coffin, stuff like that. And it's moon time. It's moon time. So yeah, I need a lot more space. Yep. And again, that's what you need. To, that's why you need to expand your base. This thing. Because right now the little white line or the blue lines that's the extent of where we can build and you're limited to how many you can have how many squares of this you can have based on the size of your heart because the heart can only have you know allows you so many squares it's like 30 something i think or something like that so you may have to do a little bit of remodeling eventually but right now this is what we're using so again can always change stuff because you can tear stuff down get uh, like 75 percent of the resources back that kind of thing and of course you have your we have a furnace for making uh, copper. Throw the copper ore in there, and then the there's the ingots. Throw these back in here. So we're up to 69 ingots. And this is a lumber mill. Just throw lumber in here, and just automatically starts processing it. And then throw it in there when we're done. We're also keeping our lumber in here too, and sawdust. So lots of resources being made for that right now for future planning. Uh, so you can also upgrade your weapons and stuff. Oh, shit. Wrong key. Anyway, you can upgrade uh, weapons and armor. As long as you have the right materials. Like, all our all our weapons are currently made out of half copper. Or is this just new stuff? No, they're actually, it's not even upgraded. They're just... They're just uh, brand new weapons. Is really what they are. Anyway, so we've got uh, four, four weapons currently. We've got the copper sword. Which, uh... That special attack is spin of death, axe, double axes. And these are you leak to your target, swing, and you get a couple extra swings on there. It's uh, a little bit faster than the mace. And leak in there, that does like a stun of some kind or something. And then the spear. It's special attack. And then what else? Uh, oh yeah, each weapon has a different uh, favored thing it likes to do. Like, um, the sword does more damage against vegetation. The axe does more damage to wood. The mace is uh, damage to minerals. And the spear is damage to creatures. So. More yard work, yes. Welcome back to Spirit Art. So, um, I kind of screwed up in my start here, so. Oh, and then you have also special ability. Well, actually, at the bottom, see, there's my blood pool. I need to fill that up with something. I need to do a feed on something. question is what is around here. You just, you know, basically harvest the uh, resources and all the other fun stuff. And, you know, there's an angry goat. I don't like the moose. They just keep running away. I mean, you can chase them and stuff, but. They run too fast. It's easier to fight wolves. <laughs> it's easy, way easier to fight wolves. And when you feed on things, um, you get their abilities associated with them. Like the animals have stuff. So this stuff laying around means there's something running around that was killing something. No. One, two, yeah, yes, one, two, yeah. Moose is not impressed. No, he's not. No, he's not. But anyway, as I was saying, so when you feed on different things, like you feed on a human, they give you some type of bonus, right? Depending on what it is. It can be like uh, extra damage, extra crit, uh, that kind of stuff. And all the humans are different. Well, actually, the way the, the feeding works is you feed on somebody and you get um, this, little, this little bit here. 
in that blood pool right here will tell you what it is. Like you feed on an animal. Let's say beast. You know, it gives you beast stuff and then give you a bonus to like your movement or something like that. And if you keep feeding on that one particular beast, say the moose, um, you'll get the number will go up higher and higher and you get more bonuses and that kind of thing. However, once you switch over to say a bear, it changes it to it, it's still the same bonus, but it doesn't count because it's a different animal. But these guys... So you feed on human. And... Filled up our blood pool, and now we pick up uh, a warrior blood type. Wow, that filled it up. So increase physical power, reduce cooldown and weapon skills, and reduce damage taken by 25%. Increase damage when striking enemies at full health. So, and each human does different. It depends on what their class is too. I forgot to look and see what that one was. But, uh, and again, if you keep feeding on that particular guy, this number goes up higher and higher. So as you can see, there's five different levels. So if you can find that same class, you keep feeding on them, that kind of stuff. Now the bonus quality depends on percentage and they don't stack. Oh, so it's actually, we only have the third one then. Reduce damage taken, increase damage when striking enemies. That's fine. Super Moose Wolf Thug. Yes. Yeah, it can invade. I'm not too fond of the whole reset either. I wish, I just, I'd like to just be able to feed on people and not reset the blood type. But it doesn't work that way. Wish it did. Oh, look. Cow. Yeah. Pay attention to time here. Oh, he stunned me. different guy but we like killing him it's fun so it took a little bit of damage but you do heal naturally over time or you can there's an ability to speed it up and you use your blood pool in order to uh, heal up faster we're not in a rush That stuff. You can wreck their plant and wreck their little camp here. Because we can. No, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I, in order to keep my. Remember, the blood pool is the only way to have your blood pool replenished you have to you have to completely drain somebody and reset your thing so i was gonna have to do it eventually unless i keep have to find the same guy oh i know about the bonuses i know all about the bonuses. we already talked about that you did i knew what i was doing so you didn't actually warn me <laughs> just so you know i knew exactly what i was doing i just don't care So anyway, what time is it? Ah, uh, daylight's coming up soon. So. Come on. Do it. There we go. Okay, so I headed back to camp because... Uh, oh, we're right here. Look, it's a moose. Sorry, goat. Now, I did have a treant running around down there earlier. I don't know where it went. Treants have a tendency to just disappear. 
pretending like they're trees and stuff. Anyway, so we have a blood press. We do have a blood press. So we throw rats and stuff in here to produce uh, blood essence. Hearts do the same thing. What's blood essence for? You feed the blood essence into your castle to make it live for longer. Like right now, this we got one day and six hours worth of time on this base before we have to feed it some more stuff. Blood altar. Oh, this is for tracking things. We want to track Keely, the frost archer, because eventually we're going to kill her today, I think. And here comes the sun. So turn this thing back on. This is the mist brazier. Beat it with bones, and it produces mist over in a small area. And the mist protects you from the sun, so you can actually run around in your base and keep doing stuff while the sun is up, for the most part. Oh, and this is our, our rat farm. I'm sorry, vermin nest. How does this work? Oh, that's where you got to feed it uh, bones and stuff to feed rat to make produce rats or giant rats. If you can find, find some fish bones, and then eventually a putrid rat. But again, what good are rats? Um, I think you can eventually use them. I think you eventually get to the point where you can use them for like hide and that kind of stuff. I think. She kind of kicked my. It's only once or twice. I almost beat her. I need to. The thing is, I have to time it correctly so I don't get caught fighting her in the middle of the day or as the sun comes up. Which I know I can travel during the day if you stay in shadows. There are components. Okay. Let's see. So the blood thing is telling me to go up here, because that's where she was. I think she's actually... Where is she? So she's, yeah, she's up in this area. I remember right. So if I was smart, I'd do some traveling during the day. Stuff in camera. Let's bank all this stuff first. Uh, Cash Jack needs to know. Hey, Veronica, who is your favorite pet? Not you. I, know I tell you what to do, and you never listen. I know. What kind of a pet does not listen to their master? Me. Okay. So here's a nice little thing: is uh, the compulsively the like, compulsively count. Basically, it automatically transfers anything in your inventory into a container that already has the same thing. So it's a really good way to, uh, you know, get the same type of items and place you've already established. Like, Gem just went in there. Some rocks and stuff. Is that stuff in there. Rocks, this, and I code all my uh, essence to here. Well, now I can use a teleporter if I want, I think, right? You know, I think this stuff stops you, stops you from being uh, teleported. So, anyway, we're going to do a little bit of a adventure and see how it goes. You piece of cat? How am I a cat? Where are you getting that from? Here you just uh, run from uh, shade to shade. What setting? I didn't really choose any ch or change any default settings, so you have to be a little bit more specific. Half cat, half cat person, not even close. Can't care. Not even close. Teleport one. You can disable it. Oh, so you can't uh, teleport with the... Uh, or so you can teleport with the uh, stuff on you? Oh, that doesn't sound like fun. Where's the challenge in that?
So this is the camp I wrecked, isn't it? I think so. Anyway, stick in the shadows so the sun doesn't kill me. And the reason for this is we're moving towards uh, the boss I have to kill. We're supposed to kill. Protect me, trees. And I think we're there. Yeah, this is the base up here. What time is it? Oh, it's almost night time. It's not bad. To raise some tedium? Oh, tedium is part of the fun. Poachers, thief. Good shooting. Fine. There we go. You didn't make it. Dun, 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 dun. So, this is fun because the person I'm supposed to kill is inside this little base here, and there's so many humans to get a kill. I think I did that round. Okay, so I got my ass kicked kind of sort of there, so we're going to, uh, sorry, do a little blood mend. You can see we're healing a bit faster, but it costing us uh, some blood pool. All three of them, though. So it gives me a better crit chance. I tried other bosses I have and I had about as much success. Well the other twenty the other the two other twenties I tried them I think last Monday. This guy's came from Cheers. Ow. Maximum job every two seconds, so healing effect is limited on combat and big spawn taking damage. Okay. Yep. Stop. 
stone. Where did stuff come from? I need to f heal up. Yeah, I did the the other boss, the one to get the the crossbow stuff. Didn't have much success with him. Okay, didn't need them. Oh, I did need them. Okay. So, primary attack, life leech. I don't know if that's going to help at all, but we'll see. That was a mugger, right? Of course, I walked right into that one. Okay, now she is here around the corner. There she is. With a couple of friends. Now, last time I fought her, I did like ring around the rosy here. Because she's a ranged person, too. Stuff. Oh, crap. Here's your boss. Where'd she go? It's her. You've got one chance to run. It's going to get a lot more difficult in a moment. Ah, uh, where'd she go? Stupid, she messed up. I feel so much better. Ah. Ta da! Swap abilities and powers. Okay, so now we're going to take this time to uh, go home and see what we got. So, I learned a trick or two since last Monday. <laughs> this ability, blood right, saves a lot of effort been practicing a little bit with that. Uh. Now, can you tell... No, no, I'm, I'm carrying stuff, so I can't teleport back. doesn't matter. Hydrate. It's too early to hydrate.
And I screwed up. That's okay. What does Blood Right do? It, um... Just go... Oh, the weak gate's right there. So we'll just go here. Congratulate... Uh, congratulatory. Let me see. Anyway, Blood Right does, um... It makes it so melee and projectile attacks don't affect you for one and a half seconds. Blocking an attack heals you for 30% of your spell power and triggers a wave of energy that pushes enemies away, dealing 100% magic damage. Turn non-materials for 1.2 seconds when this effect... I don't know what that last line means, but... Yeah. Anyway. Oh, my stuff needs repair, too. Heal Nova Perry, yeah. Can I teleport back to my uh, coffin? I've never actually used these to uh, teleport back to my own base, so I don't know if this works. Okay, fine. We gotta find something to feed off of too. Need more blood. Anyway, heading home and going the wrong way. Go this way. Oh yeah, that was it. <laughs> I think those are somewhat now. Hey, listen, I wasn't looking for trouble. Stuff up because you know they're making something useful. No, 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 yes, we'll talk about that. Look at that in a second. Anyway, transform back into a wolf. This is uh, basically for travel, and the sun's rising, of course, so timing. shape though. Oh, but I'm hurting for health. Oh, this is my base right here, I think. Yep. Okay, so not too bad. Oh, the mist was left on. Oops. That's okay. There's some more bones in there for now. Okay, so, boom. So, the whole point of killing that particular archer was... Why is it telling me to switch stuff around up here? Ah, there we go. So, the frost bat. Launch a projectile that explodes upon impact, dealing 100% magic damage and inflicts chill on surrounding enemies. Hitting a chill of enemy freezes it for 4 seconds. Enemy vampires are frozen for 2.5 seconds. So, now we can put this, you know, down here if we want. Hey, bag of water, stretch your legs. I'm fine. You have been sitting in one spot for far too long. Okay, so what I need to do is got a new building to build. Castle stuff. I don't know why this stuff comes up either, but it keeps coming up over and over. 
This isn't really new stuff for me. Production, though. Refinement. Furnace, sawmill, blood press, vermin. Tannery, that's what we want. So I need eight planks and 160 animal hides. I think we got the animal hides. Planks would be in here. Now where do I want to build it? Build it over here in the corner, still under the mist. If it fits, of course. Didn't I pick up the planks? Oh, those are ingots. I was in the wrong chest. Much better. Oh, this is tiny. They can spin stuff. And put it back here in the corner. And let's see what it needs. So it likes to turn uh, animal hides into leather. 16 hides into one leather. It can turn plant fiber and leather into empty camp canteen. And then fish oil and pristine hides into pristine leather. I'm guessing pristine hides is an upgrade of some kind. So anyway, we're going to start plugging in some animal hides so we can get some leather, so we can upgrade our little heart here. I need to move stuff around because that's really annoying right there. Tannery, just uh, throw it in here and the leather starts getting made. So that's going to get us what? 5 twentieths? About 20, uh, no, 25 maybe. 25 leather total. Which you kind of need. And canteens, ugh, I don't, <laughs> don't have a whole big need for those right now. Oh, look, a moose coming to visit us. Don't run out to the sun like a moron, though. We'll close that. We don't want any unexpected visitors. Crafting, elementals, Coffin. More out of the way. Missing resources. What's this? Oh, lumber. Is that a moose? It's a goat. It's a Canadian goat. Just one because I keep running through this area and like it's in the way. So much better. Tannery is already up to three. I know I have like seven or eight already in storage somewhere. Blood moons, yay. Soften now. There's the blood. So now we're up to 10. So we need 12 for the upgrade. We're gonna need what? Of course, now I can't get on top of it. It's, it's that stuff's in there. <sighs> I need 12 ingots. Enough. 
What is a blood moon? The blood moon does... What does it do? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Not what I wanted to do. Well, so my gear is a little beat up. Really beat up. For that stuff, I need bones and animal hides. But the blood moon does something. I just don't know what it said. Twenty percent bonus to power. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, here it is, right now. Blood moon lowers the effects of your current blood type for t by twenty percent and increases your movement speed by ten percent. So not a huge deal. It's nice, but not a huge deal. So this is just the stuff. Traveler's wrap. Hmm. I get sun resistance. I know I'm only supposed to repair my equipment, but I don't know how to do it. <laughs> oh, there it is. Middle mouse button. Blood Rose. There, everything's repaired. All set. I, re I found it last week, but I just can't remember where it was. It's not an obvious thing. Okay, there's all the leather we currently need to upgrade this place. And upgrade. So, what does that do to us? Or do for us? Oh, look at the border. It went from 30 to 80. So, that allows us to expand our base a little bit. Just need some uh, stone and blood stuff. The music is so low, it's annoying. Oh, claim. Uh, upgrade the cast heart and interact with it and unlocking blueprint mirrors. Why would you need mirrors as a vampire? Complete castle room by laying down floors and building surrounding castle walls to generate a roof. Okay. Change appearance? Oh. That's... Awesome, I guess. Okay, this up. Check your hair is nice before you leave the base, I guess. Yeah, I know that Lore says vampires don't have a reflection, that's why. I it makes me confused. Plant fiber on. Lumber, huh? Silver coins poisons you, which I didn't know about vampire. Hello, yes, everyone. silver hurts vampires. My yes. name is Veronica, and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way, you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. 
You can also follow Gimpy over on Twitter at Gimpy Nee. He tweets out there when he goes live and will more than likely follow you back. Thank you for watching. Yep, thanks for watching. Happy Monday. The Silver Herding Vampires is a little more obscure vampire lore. It doesn't kill them, but it hurts them. So again, it's not super common to see that in a lot of things about vampires, but it's there. It's, you know, it's not a big deal. But again, it's more of, it's very obscure. Because everybody thinks, oh, silver hurts werewolves, so it hurts vampires too, but not the same way. Or it's uh, not as deadly, whatever. So, this place is... No, I don't want that there. So, this place. Okay, so we have a uh, completely walled in. Wild and myth, what? Oh shit, how'd that happen? How the hell did that happen? <laughs> Blue wall, looks like it. So, now if we build floors. Oh, I can't build floors yet. I can't do stone bricks. Yes, yeah, so a Wild Man's Vampire crossover camp. That would be kind of cool, actually. I'm surprised somebody hasn't done that yet. So, moves are supposed to automatically come in when you build a floor. Is that correct? A roof? I can't build floors yet. Some stash, storage. I don't get all that stuff, no, but stone walls and a roof, ceilings. Oh, it's stone walls and a roof. So I can't do wooden stone walls yet, it looks like. They're not showing here, unless it's under castle. Oh, there it is. So I need stone bricks, which I can't make. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But I need to make stone bricks. Okay, so, um, and planks. So our next thing, who do I want to get a beat up next? So this is woodworking bench, stone breaker. I'm guessing this is the the one to get the stone bricks, right? Hey, Sanagal, welcome back. Let's see what this guy is. Stone arrow, the same stone breaker. Put a mining for him and just an adept crushing stone as he's crushing bone. Not even his incredible eye for recovering and refining metals was enough to stop him from getting run out of civilized society. His violent rage makes a fine motivator for the miners. So here he is. Should be able to make a mill. Just need whetstones. I have a sawmill. But I don't have a, a, a mill mill. A grinder. Uh, 
up here as far as I don't have a mill. Unless it's something else. I look mirrors. Oh, a grinder. Oh, I have the grinder. Do I have a grinder? I think I already made a grinder. Oh, we need to make wet stones. We need wet stones, which I don't have. Can't make a wet stone, right? Or can you? I can't make a wet, wet stone there. You can't, just not yet. The V blood on. Of course it is. Some really need a roof. <laughs> really need a roof. Spread faster mists. their space. Throw it in there for now. Need more water skins, apparently. It's a water filled canteen, so is that one. I don't think I need multiples of those. Uh oh, this is gonna be new stock for me. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, um, so I have no idea where this guy is that we're going to be tracking. Looks like he's over in that direction, though. Okay, so this next day is going to be Adventure Time. And I'm going to guess that he's probably not too terribly far away. He's over in this area somewhere. Okay, passage we can't get to. I teleport over there. Maybe we can get to that one first, or that one. Anyway, exploring. What's that? So this new, I guess I should try that out before we go anywhere. Oh, that's right, this is the lower part of our future base, maybe. Depending on how ambitious, ambitious I get. I got a lot of... I can do a lot of expansion on the base. They gave me lots of squares to play around with. I just don't know what to do with it, yeah. Rogue. I might kill more rogues if we see them. Leave me alone, I'm not bugging anybody. I'm just a lone wolf out here just minding my own business. Blood purposes rogue and brute. Except our warrior, right. I'm speaking of warrior. 
Why are they picking on me? I wish I could sneak. <laughs> It'd be easier just to kill him, huh? Oh, there's four. Need your blood. I don't think this is a rogue, though. Oh, it does. You didn't pay attention. I had a feeling they were, but. Time of date. Oh, it's almost time for the moon to come up. Mm, looks like we're going the long way around. Bugs and poachers. Look at all this uh, copper. I always need more copper. So, for multiplayer stuff, does this work, work like Valheim where you can move your character from server to server? But with only what you're carrying? Or did they not include that with this one? They didn't go that route. Nope, well, that sucks. They missed out on that. They missed out there because Valheim, that makes that so much cooler <laughs> that you can do that. Oh, I know it's Valheim. I know it is. That's all you asked. Sulfur. I moved too soon. So it's going that way? Or no, is that coming off of me? Shit. It's that way. Alpha Wolf won't attack me because we're friends. this one. Anyway, looking for a boss that hopefully opens up uh, making bricks for, or something for me. I suspect he's probably going to be up here. Maybe? More wolves. Hmm. 
copper around here. Oh, that looks like a mine. And he's gonna be inside. Behind all that wall there. This is a way to sneak in, which I doubt. Because that would make life too easy. Yeah, it's a bunch of walls. Yep. Okay, looks like I have to go in through the front gate. That's my guess. Double check. Go around the edge. Top up here. Yeah, he's behind me now. Okay, so. No easy way to get in there. So I'm going to guess it's going to be a little bit tougher. Maybe. We got crit chance at least. I just mentioned those are the only crossover ones I can think of. Oh, no, 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 that's okay. That's not a problem. Yeah, there's not, it does, it's not a lot of games, but uh, as much as this shares a lot of, you know, stuff with uh, Valheim, the way it's set up and whatever. So I'm surprised that it uh, doesn't have that too, because it's a really cool feature. Still going this way. Okay, so we need to uh, button. That's the button I want. Heal up. At the cost of our blood, but that's okay. <laughs> anyway, happy Monday. <laughs> happy Monday. So, hunting down another boss. Uh, let's see. Which way is he supposed to be? 
Okay, so going to follow the little red line, going this way. Hey, Gimpy, have you hydrated lately? I have. If not, you really should. Guessing that's him there. Yep. Look at all the little friends he has walking around. So we might be able to drop down on top of those guys. I'm just an, another miner. Don't pay attention to me. He's a good poacher. It's our road. So, oof. is that movement speed? Yeah. Whatever. Zone, little friends. Yeah. Oops. You need to get up and step away from the computer. That was really bad. It was. I'm really good at this. Ah, he calls in friends with a chicken shit. No sun in here. I hope the sun, there's no sun in here, but that might be in the center. Oh, there's sunlight in here. Yeah. 
Gotta hate boss fights. Fights, I really do. At least this isn't out in the sunlight. Ah, oh, crap. That was close. Let's hear that crunch. Oh. This is one shot. Owie. Come on. Hate this angle. Let's hear the crunch. And I'm gonna die. Ah, oh, shit. Oof. Let's hear that and we gotta respawn. Oh, I think I broke something too. Ugh, my sanity. Hate boss fights, I really do. Look at all the nice stuff the game gives us. Hey, Tully, welcome back. Happy Monday. That's two or three. Yeah, that's two or three bosses down. And the next one's going to be fairly similar, I think, because he, he has the summoned friends, too. And this ore while we're here as well. Out of here, though. <laughs> oh. Hey, the moon's coming up too. So the great part about this fight, it's underground, so you don't have to worry about the sun. If the sun had, if this had been a above ground fight, I would have been so trounced. <laughs> okay, looks like we go this way. Come 
man. This is the way we came out. How much copper do I have? I got lots of copper. I don't need to really do all this stuff, but... And we got guards. Poacher. Poacher. Mugger. So just walk, let them walk on by. Just to stay ahead of them. That's a gate over there. Don't shoot me. Okay, yep. That's the way out. Sorry, going back to my base so we got stuff to build. Oh. One must grind every resource of the full game experience. I understand that, yes. And there's lots of copper to be grinded. <laughs> ground. Grinded? Ground. I don't know which word was correct there, but close enough. Oh, look, it's a golem. Okay. So, again, headed back to our base. Got to go build a new building, probably, I think. Nice try. Although I'm going to have to feed on somebody at some point. Oh, your skeletons. Do I want to feed on the wolves? Oh, apparently they know I'm not a wolf. And where the hell am I? <laughs> I don't know where I am. Okay. We didn't come through here the first time, did we? No, I didn't come through here at all. Can't feed on skeletons? No. Sadly, no. No blood on the skeleton. Ah, oh, they got me. much do you think a skelly has? Um, probably not a whole lot. I'm going to go with the one drop if you're lucky. Almost home. This is our will be our main entrance, I'm guessing, eventually. And 
and we're home. And we've been burning the brazier the whole time because I forgot to turn it off to be on left. So, give me some skeleton. There's some bones in there. Look at all that copper. Oof. Look at all that copper. <laughs> Do the bosses respond? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Okay, so we need to build a grinder. No, wait a minute. Stuff. Into frost pot. Oh, chaos. Aftershock. Smash the ground, causing a shockwave that erupts, dealing 100% magic damage on a line, inflicting chaos burn. Oh. Hmm. Hitting a chilled enemy freezes in four seconds. Any more buttons? But wasn't I supposed to get something for killing that guy? I thought. Crude millstone. Can't have to tell him. Use for crafting. Clay. I didn't learn a new refinement thing, did I? Grinder, yeah, we need, still need whetstones. Crafting, storage, no, dominance, no, research, no, refinement, no. Mm -hmm. I killed the, the guy down in the mine. M arrow. Oh, so that's a big stash. It didn't show up then. Let alter that. Wouldn't that be a fundamental? And it's not here. I'll store it. Okay, so small stash, big stash. Vampire lockbox. Okay, so we need six planks and two copper ingots. How big is the big stash? Oh, same size. But you can't stack them. That's a little bit more space. what quite a bit so that's what two this is only carry it's 14 and that's 21 okay stuff in there. Keep that in there for now. Hey Gimpy, have you hydrated lately? I have. If not, you really should. But I have, so I don't need to. Plants and stuff goes in there for now. Mm. 
Oh, hearts. Take the hearts out of here. So, extra mace. Or the other. Throw that in there for now. Take that. Experiencing technically just some hardware self. Uh, whatever. Not perks. Do you have any more? I think I took them all out of here, didn't I? Other hides. Somehow I think we're gonna need a lot, a lot of rocks, just to guess. Sawmill. So much lumber. Or some of the planks have to be made. And the sun's rising again. Okay, but I'm trying how we get the hearts and stuff. Put that in the chest. Can. Actually, we can just squeeze the hearts, can't we? That's what this is for. This is greater blood essence. You can source the silk from blood, vampires you. Control material to unlock the skin. Seal knowledge, we okay. Primal blood essence. Good stuff. Okay, so that. Carrying bones. Keep the phone. Oh, don't I have an empty chest up here, don't I? I'm soon to be okay. empty. There we go. Keep the bounce. Still don't know what I'm supposed to do with the water stuff. So the next boss that we have to get, oh, that's the, the guy over by the, the mill. So woodworking bench, guessing that would be a good thing. It also gives us a recipe for a hunter's crossbow, which would be a nice upgrade. Oh, look, we can fish. Sculpted wood and frame, so attract you.
not what I want to do. I want to do tab. Care about the still to three. It's nothing new that way. Okay, should drink the blood of fish now? Um, maybe. I don't think so, but maybe. Okay, which way go? That way. And I walk right in the sun like an idiot. It's one of paying attention to the time of day. And I also left my uh, mist maker on like an idiot too. Leave that door open. Okay, uh, turn this thing off while we're gone. The music in this game is way too low. Anybody know I turn it up past max? Because it's way too low. <laughs> you know, it's not a volume thing for the game because sound effects and everything sound fine. It's the music is just so low. I don't need to feed that now, I think. He's actually on the other side. Is or he's right, actually, up here on the left side. I think we can fight him here. Once the sun goes down, I think that's where we can fight him. Yeah, that's him right there. And a shady dealer. Not good. Nice big skull on his face. Not very plain. Thugs. Wish I could jump over here. Not cheating. See those things to fight immediately. Cheese? Yes, it is. Do I care? No. Because I use cheese all the time. Oh, 
Oh, the second one just went badly, really quickly. So much of this. Ugh. <laughs> this went horrib so horribly so quickly. Okay, well, you need a little bit of health. <sighs> Cheese is great with hamburgers, hot dogs, and pizza. It's a little too much on the hot dog, though. Yeah, I know. The health resets is annoying. See, this is what they this is what I meant by the cheese. You knew that I knew this was gonna happen. I just didn't think it was gonna be that bad. Not my blood is used up. Another assassin. Make it interesting this time. Not the way to run, right? Well, lucky me. Oh, he has own friends there. running away. He did. Looks confused. It's like me. Okay, let's heal up. You seem to like to run into reinforcements. It's not by choice. It's not like they show up on radar or anything. They just randomly wander in. Some of them spawn, and some of them just wandering in. They're just walking through the area naturally. Like, there was actually skeletons that came walking through, and they were fighting the other the actual people in here. The skeletons and people don't get along. Get blood and use Vermine Salve more. Because Vermine Salve makes you, uh, doesn't stop you from moving. Intruder, huh? Guess I have to handle this myself. Oh, 
He's a cheating bastard, isn't he? Ah! Can't move or transform while using blood. Which, of course, rains. Can use blood potions. Don't care. I thought it did. Can't mm, spawn there. So coffin. Coffin. Can't move or transform. I know you can't move or transform using blood. I know that. But the potions is... I'm going to the potions back over there. So the Vermine Salve, right? The healing effect is limited when in combat and breaks upon taking damage. Everyone, for 15 seconds. So you, you can move, right? But it takes 15 seconds for it to go in. I don't know. But yeah, I should have more of this stuff. Uh, 20 bones, one rats, flat five dollars. I just squished on my flat, my rats in the blood though, I think. Yeah, so I turned them all into blood. <laughs> and I don't have any rats because... What do I need? Plant fibers and bone. Hey, Bata, welcome back. Happy Monday. So I can make some rats, so I can make those potions. And as almost daylight anyway. So that'll get me what twenty or so? I'll give me twenty rats. Let me turn those guys into potions. Oh, I got some rats. Crafted. Oh, got some stuff. So. Oh, look at all the little cute little rats that we're going to turn into vermin salve. Hey, Gimpy, it is time to take a break. Oh, damn, okay. Your next break is in two hours. Do this one real quick. And here comes the sun. Go, Mist. I'm faster. Stuff in there. And with the bones. There they are. Stuff goes in there, and the blood goes over here, and. Go. Okay, so I do need to take a break. Oh, we gotta throw the rat somewhere. Um, I'll throw them in here for now. So we actually got a decent amount. 
Okay, so looks like I can take a quick break. Uh, let's see, sunlight usually lasts uh, five minutes or so, I think, right? I think it's about right. Um, just in case, we will take a nap. <laughs> just in case. Okay, so I'll be back in a few minutes. I need to get up, stretch my legs, get some water, that kind of thing. Be back in a few, back in a few minutes. Enjoy the dog video. Thank you for watching.